Kasi Kulman Fever, as the new leader of the Nobel Committee, uh, you have said today that what has happened in, the, uh, in Tunisia should serve as an example for many other countries. How important has this element been for the committee? No, it has. Or it is, of course, always important when we want to uh, to put the light on uh, a laureate having done uh, good work. That this could serve as an example for others. I think you will see that as sort of a red thread through the whole history of the Nobel Peace Prize. And then, please tell us more exactly what is this uh, Peace Prize laureate, this organization. Uh, the National Dialogue Quartet uh, is comprised of, uh, or has been comprised of, four civil society organizations. Uh, at the moment, I would call it a make or break moment in the Tunisian development after the Jasmine Revolution. They uh, saw the need to act as one. Uh, and to stand on the broad values they together represent and with this uh, having a moral authority in not only guiding but pushing the development in the right direction and they achieved uh, that Tunisia today has a pluralistic society with uh, fundamental rights for everyone. Is the decision by the Nobel Committee also a message for the whole Arabic world? It is a message both to the region and to the rest of the world. But of course, the, out of the Arab Spring countries, Tunisia is uh, uh, the only one where the development has proven so successful, even though there are still challenges. Mm. But uh, we want to, to point to the fact that it is possible for Islamistic and secular political movements to work together in the best interest of the people and that civil society organizations can play an important role in the democracy development and create a peaceful development based on dialogue and consensus. These are our main messages. Which criteria in the Nobel, in Alfred Nobel's will, is most relevant to this year's decision? Well, as we state in uh, the announcement text, the broad national dialogue this quartet uh, uh, achieved is in its function very close to those peace congresses Alfred Nobel speak of in his will. What was most difficult during the process ended up with today's decision? No, I cannot uh, tell you anything from uh, the discussions we have had uh, with 273 candidates. There, it's always difficult to choose, but uh, we are uh, totally agreed on the, the results I have presented to you today. Well, and yes, you are the new secretary of the Nobel Committee. Yes. How will you characterize the work done by the committee? Well, it's been very inspiring to follow the discussions and take part in the elaborations. Uh, I think it shows five very committed members who take this job very, very seriously and do their homework. So it's been, been, been very uh, inspiring to follow. But what kind of a peace prize is this? Is this a human rights prize or whatever is it? I think this is a prize that establishes the relevance of democracy, human rights to peace. Could this year's uh, uh, Peace Prize laureates, could it be compared to any other Peace Prize laureates? Yes, of course they can. Uh, we are speaking of other candidates working in the fields of democracy, human rights then. Uh, but still it's also quite unique and that mm. is what uh, the chairman of the committee pointed at. That there are some very unique, specific things about the Tunisian experience. Uh, and they were really what the committee wanted to, to focus upon. Kasi Gudman Fever, have you been in contact already with uh, one or more of the members of this quartet? 
No, we will uh, contact them directly after this press event, and, but they have been informed by, by others. When was the decision taken? Was it taken early in the process or late in the process? No, as always, we uh, stress uh, ourselves in the committee to underline that you never make the decision until the last meeting. You have to have an open mind. But of course, we do not have 273 candidates anymore on our table when we come to the last meeting. So, uh, well, it's been a normal process. It's always a difficult process, but we are very satisfied with the outcome. Well, and Elsta, uh, the Nobel Peace Prize is by far the most prestigious peace prize in the world. And this decision by the committee, what kind of uh, image will this decision have on the, uh, on the Peace Prize in the future? I don't think it will alter very much the existing image, uh, but it will, of course, confirm that the committee believes, strongly believes, that there are close connections between basic rights, mm. democracy and peace. Kasi Kulman Fever, what makes you most proud today? Well, I'm, I'm proud to see that uh, there are candidates like the quartet existing, the work they have been uh, doing in a very difficult time for their country and uh, what they have obtained by this work. I think it, uh, I'm looking forward to meet the representatives of the quartets when they come to Oslo in December. Will it be one or four members coming here? No, it's, it's one laureate, that's very clear. But uh, if they are represented, uh, who will represent them? We have still not uh, discussed the details of that, but we will find solutions to this. But they were four participants in this one organization. Thank, thank you so much, both of you. Thank you.